Hello everybody and welcome back to Perfect Valley Farm. How are you doing today? Hopefully very well. So you join me stood on a trailer. We have here five pallets of pellets, straw pellets, each one containing 2,000 litres. Now what I want to do is sell them, so we're going to do the same approach as before. Delete, delete, delete. Delete, okay. So in total there we had 10,000 litres, which means all we have to do is look at the value of 1,000 litres, 1,269, which means in total there we had 12,690 pounds. That's all I have to do. Easy. That is to get around the sell point, which I couldn't get to work for whatever reason. So that is just the easiest thing to do for now. We do have some more straw pellets to sell, but not at the moment. I say sell, I mean pelletize. We need to turn them into pellets and then sell. Because they're worth much more as pellets than they are as just straw bales. Um, yeah, so we're going to move on over here. We've got onions. It should be worth quite a bit of money. I'm going to load up the Flegel trailer, or maybe the Eiffel Williams if they're fit. Then we'll sell them. And these really are worth a serious amount of money. This is going to be interesting. I haven't really sold many before. This is this is the first big load, and it really is a big load. Yeah, should fit on the Eiffel Williams, so we'll do that. And then we'll get the last two out of there as well. There we go. Yeah. One of the good things about this is it's got such good visibility over the forks that you just can't really mess it up oh yeah of course though <laughs> this is the really heavy one somebody actually did suggest changing the wheels for tracks apparently it's much more stable because it, at the moment it's just lacking rear weight the counterbalancing um, but yeah apparently putting the tracks on just makes it much more stable anyway so good suggestion I think for today I'm going to try and just keep going as I am but yeah next time we're near to a place to customize it, we will get it changed. Right, so I need a suitable vehicle to tow the Eiffel Williams trailer. I think really the John Deere is going to be... Well, this is this is closer, but it's going to look a bit crazy on there. Yeah, the John Deere would appear to be the most suitable. I don't have a get-around vehicle, so we're going to have to use a tractor. Not ideal, but it's still not too bad. Yeah, so we've been doing so much harvesting recently in all my different Let's Plays, survival roleplay, multiplayer, and this one, that I think we are just going to give it a break for today. I'm not going to do any harvesting with the Combine today. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do trailed foraging. So we're going to get the trailed forage harvester, um, and we're going to essentially just cut a field of grass. I'm hoping to actually buy one. That's what I'm working towards here. And yeah, I want to do this without the enhanced vehicle mod, but that's why I've removed it, because I'm, I'm trying to um, make the mod even more fun. The enhanced vehicle mod is absolutely brilliant, but not if you're wanting to get stuck, which I am. In fact, if we do get stuck, we can even get a chain to pull the tractor out, which will be great. Um, although this is the complete opposite of what you'd want to do in real life, unless you were trying to get stuck. Maybe you're doing a bit of off-road mudding or something. Um, anyway, yeah. That is my plan. Picking up a load of grass cut by our big tractor. Probably the JCB. And the good Cavernland mowers. And then, yeah, we'll be picking it up with the Laley Storm P300. And, yeah, it's by 4D Modding. Fantastic mod. But before any of that, and before I attempt to buy those fields, the muddy fields, that I made muddy, we've got to make all this money from these. And I'm really hoping we are going to make quite a bit. How much are they? 141,000. Um, yeah, it's doable, but we do have a huge loan. I think what I'll probably do is once we have harvested those fields on the hillside, I'll sell that block of land. It is this, this lot here, huge area. Got to harvest all of them. But that's going to give me almost half a million back. That is impressive. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Then we can instantly repay the loan. This might be fun. One at a time.
Okay, so there we go. Should put some straps over. Quite a few. This is quite heavy. Probably far too heavy for the trailer. But <laughs> it's fine. We'll get it to the south point, which is just opposite the vehicle dealership. Now, to give you an idea, a rough idea of price, each one of these is worth over £5,000. And that seems to be slipping. Why are they tilting so much? I must have just stuck them really badly. But yeah, over 5000 <laughs> This is the money which we need. That's good, because I really do want to have quite a bit of money for today. We should certainly be able to buy all those fields. But it does mean that after today, after this episode, my focus is really going to be to get that block of land all harvested and done and out of the way. It is going to be a bit of a job. I'm probably going to lease a really big combine to get it done. Since there is so much harvesting to do, that'll be tomorrow. And uh, I don't know at the moment what the sort of future of this episode is it, it, with regards to the schedule. I just don't know if we're going to be able to do two episodes a week or if it's going to reduce to one. And then I do some live streams as well. Many people have been saying, can we do two episodes a week of competitive multiplayer? So, because that was reduced not long ago. But many people now like multiplayer, people who didn't like it before. So, I don't know. It's uh, it's tough, if only there were eight days in a week. And before anybody says anything, no, I can't do two episodes a day. Some days I do have the time, but other days, well, most days, I, I just don't. Because, um, yeah, I've got so much other work to do as well. And it's amazing how much time editing takes up. Especially the survival roleplay. There's my trailer. And those machinery restorer videos, they take up so much time. It, it's amazing how... It, it, in fact, it's interesting, more than amazing, how some people think that they just take a few days to make. Yeah, the most recent video, somebody said... Um, oh, what did they say? Something about it only taking a couple of days to do the whole project. It took about 25 days. Right, okay. Let's get the remaining ones sold. For some reason, the first few sold, but then the rest of them just stayed on the trailer. But look at that, £180,000. Pretty good. It's exactly what I was looking for. So, I'm just going to leave the trailer over here for now. And then we can come back for it later. Because I need to pick up the Forager which is in this category lately and I don't think I need to have any other options really for what I'm doing I don't think I need to do any of this so let's just go for wide tyres since we're going to be going through mud we'll buy it outright should just about leave enough money to buy that there we go look at what we own, we own so much we've got to reduce what we own though and then we need to jump into the JCB, get all the mowers attached to it. The mowing is nothing of a job. Really fast. The part of this that's going to take a long time is picking up because of the carting. We're going to cart it back. And we do attach the trailer to the back of this, so I need to make sure we have a suitable trailer. The thing is, I don't know if our cane trailer, I think it is, I don't think it's big enough. But I'll give it a go. It's going to be very interesting to see how things pan out today. Driving through all the mud without enhanced vehicle. No true four-wheel drive, no diff lock. We do have four-wheel drive, but it's just like the base game four-wheel drive, which isn't that effective. And we're going to be doing this job with the FS13 and FS15 tractor. I still don't know how you pronounce it. Bjora or something. Bjora. <laughs> Uh, when I mentioned it in the previous episode, there was somebody else I noticed who said, I have no idea how you pronounce it either, but I recognise it. It's a very recognisable tractor. The colour scheme is very interesting. So I'll park this over here for now. I'm going to go back and get the JCB, get all the mowers attached, and then we'll see how the JCB performs uh, when going through. Ah, the mud. Yeah, this is still here. I'm going to have to clean this. 
Is he still here from that previous episode? Oh, I might never get out. I have no diff lock. <laughs> We're going to have to get a chain. Yeah, this is that really good tow chain and hook mod from Mod Hub. Very useful. I still can't get over the real mud mod. I, I just can't believe how good it is. So pleased that it is in FS19. It changes everything. We could even do things like off road mudding courses for 4x4s, or maybe even for mowers, because there are mowers in this game. We could do ride on mower mudding. Hmm, that gives me an idea for a future video. <laughs> Okay then, so let's just first of all recover our tractor. I was not expecting it to get stuck immediately, but yeah, I think that's probably going to be a sign of things to come. Just as long as I don't get the JCB stuck. I know there's less mud on this side. We still have to reach the front of the tractor so that we can pull it out. Okay, let's release the chain. Hopefully there is something to uh, attach to. We do have the hook. Okay. That should do it. Okay, good. Yeah, good job we had the hook. Thing is, we've got to get out of here. Oh, there's a gate over here, that's fine. So we should be able to leave that there. Um, we'll leave that there until after we've done the mowing. As for this tractor, it's a disgrace. Just give that a rapid clean. Right, so yeah, let's just get to the field and see how it goes. feel this, I really do like it. And we own all these. That's what's so good about it. We haven't just bought the one field, we have a whole block. Um, I, I think it's four. I'll have to take a look in detail. 57 behind us, 59 above us. And 56. Now that is impressive. That's that big one there. But this was just the first one. Because this is the one where we have to go through the mud to get out. I don't know if we have to go through the mud for the other one. No, it looks like we do. Yeah, I think that field there is accessed through this field only. Right, so that's going to be interesting. The biggest problem is not having a big enough trailer. Um, we have the loading wagon, I know, but we're just doing things differently today to try and mix things up, add a bit of variety. So my next task is to go and get the chain and also the tractor with the forager. Let's just get these folded up. I'll keep these in this next field. Ah. Okay. Didn't quite go to plan. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Nice. Yeah, this tractor isn't too bad at dealing with mud. It does seem to be fine, even without enhanced vehicle. Okay, so that one can go there. This one here can go there. And we might not even need the chain. But I'm bringing it because we probably will do. Since we're going to be casting some fairly heavy trailers out of here. I might end up leasing a bigger trailer. The JTB is back at the field with the tow chain. Which means I can now focus on getting this tractor over to the field. 
So firstly, I'm going to go and pick up the Forager, we'll come back from the trailer, the trailer is going on the back. I've left it in the field because it's just going to be so much easier spinning around in there. But, oh, we've still got the hook on the front look. <laughs> uh, might have to remove that. Although, maybe not. I might need it. If we do successfully get into the field, I will take it off though, because it kind of looks a bit weird. But yeah, as I was saying, we do most likely need a bigger trailer. This one is just small. Okay, getting out of here is going to be fun. Luckily, the trailer is sort of offset to the left, which means we are clearing the post. Although, maybe not this one on the corner. Oh, good. Right, okay, so now we can try and navigate this minefield of fence posts. Uh, is there any way of moving that trailer across at all? Maybe I shouldn't have had it on the uh, forager. Ah, this is going to be interesting. Yes, I think we'll be carting out of, the, out of the field and back to the yard with the JCB. I uh, couldn't really take up much more of the road. That's where the JCB got to. This nice clean setup is about to go very dirty. So let's go through empty and see how it struggled. Come on, you can do it. Not bad, actually. That would have been a, a challenge fully loaded, though. Let's make a good start. Pipe out, and we'll begin. I'm just hoping it's not going to fill instantly. That's a good thing, because it means we've got loads of it, but kind of frustrating. Probably don't have the power, either. It's all right downhill. If we do have power issues though, which I think we are going to, we have the class tractor in our neighbouring field. Almost full. Yeah, we're going to have to transfer it. I'm a bit reluctant uh, to, of, of using the JCB, since if we get that stuck, we've got, not really got much to pull it out. The class might pull it out. Just get a full trailer. But it didn't do too badly on the way in, so that was quite good. Okay. So, our trailer is full. 11,500 litres. Let's see if we can pull this back to the other field. And I think yeah, probably the class is going to be the best tractor to use here. Potentially faster at karting. I'm not too sure what the top speed is, but this is 26. The class can possibly do 32. Right, so we have a good run up. Wow. <laughs> that really was a good run up. And we made it. Nice.
Right, so it is crazy. It's filling these trailers just rapidly. We're doing half a headland, it's full. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump this load and then I'm going to come back tomorrow we'll, we'll do follow me I'm going to try and put the lorry alongside doing follow me failing that I could just keep connecting this but I, I want to do the big field as well at the same time we need to do the harvesting so we've got so much to do I think the big grass field might have to wait until after harvest but it's been going really well just as you can see slowly because of the uh, the carting and this is a 15,450 litre trailer and it's still filling up instantly and that field isn't fertilised so incredible it really is incredible I thought when I reconfigured this it would have been enough serious amount of grass Okay, so yeah, just before I wrap up this video, I'm just going to dump this load, and I've got one thing to say. Because of the upcoming release of the Alpine DLC, I probably won't be doing Survivor Roleplay on the week of the release, or, or the week of early access, if I get early access, I don't know. I always have them before, but yeah, I can't just assume. I'm very grateful for it anyway. So, uh, whenever, it's, whenever I can do videos, basically, um, at that time, that one week, there probably won't be survival role play. I'm not saying there isn't going to be, but there probably won't be, as I do want to focus on that quite a bit, just in the initial week at least. But yeah, that cane trailer has been good, just tough to keep up, very tough. So anyway, yeah, we're going to finish it off straight away at the beginning of the next episode, then we'll be into the harvest, and that's just going to mix things up a bit, stop things from being just one job in each episode. So um, yeah, there's not too much left there. Should be fairly easy to do. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.